Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your old oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your mibbowist brother, Travis Big Dog Woof 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 McElroy. But I'm your baby, 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 <laughs> this is uh, this is uh, the show. This is the, my brother, my brother, and me. It's an advice show, the, and I have what huge was that, news. What was that sound? What was, was me it? looking up? I was I was logging into the app of just, of Note today. Okay. to talk about you um, were jacking in. I was lo- I was hacking in, jacking in, um, huge uh, jacking them in. So I'm huge on TikTok. Yeah, yes. And yes. I just want to talk about it because is it, I'm like, is it your character where you talk about cryptocurrency trends? It's not. It's not Crypto Kid. Damn, that hasn't it's, found purchase in the crypt, soil. Crypto Kid did not catch catch on. Is it um, the one where you just kind of posted a video of some guys that vaguely look like a uh, love child of our dad and Paul Saborin singing a song together? What? No, that was. Oh no, you did it. The music from. <laughs> That's a it, music for the mercenaries app. It, it's, okay. it would take far too long to, yeah. This is um. I will t- I will tell you. I will play the au- the audio. This becoming comes such a big hit, and this is a touchstone of my childhood that I've been trying to get going again for years. Yeah. Right. So let me just play this, and then we'll like move on from there. Give me one second. When I was a little lad, if I wanted berries and cream, mummy made me do the little lad dance. Now mummy's gone. But I still like to do the little lad dance, and you might too. You just run in place. Nice form. So this is him like telling you how to do it, but here's the actual audio. It looks a little something like this. You look wonderful. Now, sing the berries and cream song. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Up the octave, go for it. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. So I've been trying to get this guy to make a comeback for a very long time. By the way, he's now a dance teacher in yeah. New York who does not like to talk about the little No, no, no. no. I, I just looked it up, it's Jack Fervor. Uh, his genre-defying performances, which have been called so extreme that they sometimes look and feel like exorcisms, Fuck explore yeah. the tragic comedy of the human psyche. Fuck But yes. also, he was the berries and cream boy. Also, he fucking loves berries and cream. Berries and cream, and please don't mention it, because he don't like it. He don't like to talk That's about it. That's a shame, often. because I like it so much. So here's the thing. I put this sound up. And I I wrote I just uploaded the sound as a as a public service right. to TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just wrote on there, please make great art with this sound. It's what we all need. Yeah. And it sat dormant since January 5th. And then at some point in August, all of the teens. Yes. Mm-hmm. All of the teens decided they could do something really special with this sound. Uh and so far it the the video itself, which is not even like a good predictor of uh, okay, the 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 sound has been used in twelve thousand six hundred videos. A normal That's amount. That's a lot. Oh, it's a lot. A lot. A That's lot of lot videos. Of That's video. a lot. That's a lot. I don't know. It's so big, and it went viral. And here's the thing about it, guys. I'm a creative professional, right? <laughs> If I may be so bold, yeah. I'm like I'm an inter- an entertainer. I'm a creative professional, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. See, it is almost now a hundred percent assured that the biggest cultural impact mm-hmm. I will have, uh, speaking in a global sense. Is the fact that I uploaded a clip of yeah. the berries and cream you, boy? Nothing like, I do after or before, in terms of scope, will reach as many people as the time I clicked upload on the berries and cream boy dance. When when we get to the 2024 election cycle and MSNBC brings you on to get your thoughts, because I believe by that point you will be. I don't know, maybe a lawyer or a political commentator, your caption at the bottom will say Justin McElroy, berries and cream amplifier. 
Yeah, right. Berries right. and cream influence. You are right, you are right, living right, right. you are living the first line of your obituary. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm now. in it. You're I'm in, in the moment. Right I'm now. in the moment. Justin McRoy, primarily known for putting berries and cream sound on TikTok, died today when he was murdered by Jack Fervor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Justin was the berries and cream guy? No, no. No. Um no. he put the sound up on the TikTok app and all the And then he was subsequently it's the biggest thing he's ever <laughs> And then he was subsequently <laughs> murdered by the berries and cream guy. The the truth of this is just a cur- I thought it would be fun to talk about, but the truth of it is crushing. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> the truth of it is crushing me. There's 12,600 videos, mm-hmm. millions upon millions of views of my greatest work, which is uploading the sound for the berries and creep boy dance. Yeah. It's like when Michelangelo unveiled uh, the the roof of the the Sistine Chapel, but then while he was doing it, he farted, and then that's all people would talk about it, for the rest not, of his it's life. It's not even that, Travis. It's, it's not even that, he, Travis. It's like it's like if Michelangelo <laughs> told everybody a dirty limerick that he heard when he was a kid, and that was the thing uh, that everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. was like. Oh yeah, Michelangelo, he's the one that always used to recite that dirty limerick for everybody. I love that. Hey, guy. check out the ceiling of, of this uh, beautiful building. It was painted by that guy who retold that dirty limerick. Yeah, who recited a dirty limerick from memory. <laughs> Except it's like, it's even worse than that because it's from a starburst hat. Yeah, yeah, it's not you even know, like a funny clip from a movie it, or a song. It would be like if Michelangelo's great claim to fame was he recited this McDonald's commercial <laughs> from memory. <laughs> and we all loved it so much. And it was better than his paintings. For that sure. actually would be pretty amazing if it was like Michelangelo saying, bada, ba, 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 I'm loving it first. Shit, that but would be But because good. something had traveled back in time and influenced him to do that. Like, we love, like, you guys know, like, sure, we love the nerd shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. Dungeons and Dragons and uh, Munch totally, Squad yeah. and all this garbage. But, Richard like, our Morty. dream is always, like, to be able to break free of it. Oh, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And to be our own, like, to not, to just be a mainstream the Fake, success. fake geek boys is what we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm ready to shed that. Who's somebody who's like, who's like, who's like Oh man, I was trying to think of somebody who has done this and has not come crashing back down to earth like fucking problematic Icarus. Ooh, uh, hold on, um, give me a second. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't have anybody, but you can. But t- you can it definitely happen. Just sort of like conceptually, it might be possible. Yeah, it, uh, it, it will definitely be us who will make this succeed. We'll be the but first it, ones. But it's like I finally found mainstream success, and the real double whammy is. It's not even a way I'll financially benefit. No, it even is, a in fact, bit. stolen content it's, that I don't have the right to reproduce. Juice, now we Here's, go, I would go so far as to say, Juice, not only will you not financially benefit from it, you will not brand-wise benefit from no, it. No, that you will not, brand, no. There will be no increase in your SEO because of it. No. You, you will find literally no benefit for your great the, work. The, the actual, the only actual repercussion might be actually that I find myself at the center of a tawdry legal threat now, but from that, Starburst Incorporated. That's something you could make into a drama. Even that drama. would be beneficial. You're right. Yeah. Even that would help. <laughs> Wouldn't you, it? You could make a movie out of that. Yeah. Oh, the guy that the guy that got sued by Starburst. I love that guy. What a hero to the people. It wouldn't it be that. Please, you have to you have to come testify. No, I don't like talking about the berries and cream thing anymore. Jack, please. Please, no. Jack, you have to go Please. testify. This is the biggest thing. Biggest thing I'll ever do. Me and Jack Fervor have a thing in common now. Yeah. We don't want to talk about the birds of grief thing anymore. You get it now. We, you we get, get other it. stuff, you know? You understand why he is the way he is about the berries and cream ad. Because you also don't want to be just that. There is also a possibility here, and I don't want to get too meta here. But this is such a specific reference and such a weird thing that was created back in like 2000 whatever. That it's possible that this is something Justin puts out, right? And some youth sees it now who never saw the commercial. And then eventually time travel is created. They go back in time, tell someone about it before the commercial is made and inspires the commercial to be made. And it is that loop that allows our like universe to continue to exist. Interesting. 
Here is how badly that I've also bungled. doesn't benefit Justin, though. No, which is here's, important here's to how badly I've bungled this. Yeah. Even if you were to go through to my TikTok page, here's what you would find. My username is Hoops McElroy. Not, that is not, not my name. name. Okay. Can't nope. search that. Nope, not useful. My icon is a picture of four chicken nuggets yep. with their labels on them. That's not helping me. And I have no bio. Mm. There's no way. I have made the perfect, perfect dead end for content. There is no way I could benefit from this. Yep, you fucked it up. But I guarantee you, Juice, Super Bowl 2022. Oh yeah, he's, come, he's he's back. He's back in a big way. It's like how State Farm was like, "Hey guys, remember Jake from State Farm? Now he's back in all the shit." Starburst is going to be like, "One more ride, Jack." And he's going to be like, "I can't. I've talked so much shit." But they're like, "Check out this dope TikTok." I could at least at least fix the bio. You at least fix the bio. Uploaded berries and cream sound. Yes. Comma. Yep, that's me. It's all rights reserved. No rights reserved. No rights. Absolutely. Creative no Commons 3.0 attribution license, berries and cream, funny video, TikTok. Justin, could we attempt to parlay this into you becoming the next berries and cream spokesperson? Right now, I, you're now there's Travis. brand association. I can't overstate the extent to which. This can't. This doesn't help me at all. No, not There's without a no, little elbow would, grease. You got. It might as well be anonymous. Like it might as well be anonymous. You, you think anonymous can help you? Maybe anonymous could change that sound to where it's like Justin McElroy does different podcasts. You can listen to it and donate to him. Listen. Maybe they can anonymous can figure out a way to. If do anonymous that. is listening, first of all, thank you. We're flattered. Second of all, any insight, any uh, help you can offer here as to how uh, I guess we can hack the berries and cream sounds. Yes. Just let us know, please. And the biggest outcome of this would be is if Starburst brought back berries and cream flavor fruit chews. Because those were yep. pretty fucking good. I think we can all agree. And Justin, if you could do something with Taste Stations next and see if oh, you can bring those Jack, back. Please. Love that. All right. Please bring back Taste Stations. All right. Let's let's get let's do our show. Yeah, so I don't know why you would listen to us no. at this point, like seeing how badly I've bungled this. Well, they were checking in um, to see if you would do more of that berries and cream content that they love. And hey, look at that. We did. Yeah. You did it. Yeah, here I am. You've probably found your way to the podcast because I'm so famous from when I uploaded Berries and Cream that one time. Yeah, it's so weird to listen back to this now that you're president in 2024. Yeah. You know, it's like, how did he get started? Oh, I yeah. will not benefit from this at all. I've wasted it. I wasted my big shot at, like, what, this happens to people, right? Like, green shirt guy, right? You know, green shirt guy who was in that one meme where he was laughing? Oh, Ken Bone. At, no, that's red shirt. <laughs> it doesn't matter for my joke because they're both on Cameo. And like, they're <laughs> green shirt guy who is laughing in that one meme is on Cameo and he'll send a Cameo to your friends and family. But like, does he wear a green shirt? It, he has to. Yeah, right. <laughs> he has to wear a green shirt in every video. Um, I hope he's, I, he's doing okay. 